another Adobe Illustrator quick tip by Fatfly Design. So let's say you've created a sticker design and now you're ready to make this a production ready file. What you might need to do is specify where that sticker will be cut, so the custom die cut. Now if it's just a simple rectangle or circle, that's pretty easy to do. But if it's a more custom shape, let's take a look at how I might accomplish that. I've got three examples here. Let's focus on the top one first. So I have this, and if I go to outline mode, you'll notice that I have a shape out here. Now I don't want it to cut actually on that. I want it to cut out here a little farther. So I could redraw that in some way, maybe with my pen tool or some other method, but that's a little bit um, of work. So I'm going to try to do this as simply as possible. So I really have the shape that I want. It's just not big enough. So I'm going to go to Object, Path, Offset Path. Now by default, Illustrator is going to offset that in a positive amount, and it's 0.1389 inches, and it'll create a new path out here for me. Now I need to determine how far out I want to come. So let's just adjust this to something else, 0.25. Now I have to turn preview off and back on to actually see it again. Okay, so let's say that I'm happy with this amount. I hit OK, and I'm going to go back to preview mode, and I'm probably going to turn this into just an outline here. Now depending on who is cutting this and what machine they're using. We may need to specify this as a specific spot color called die cut line or something like that. But this will at least tell them where I want this to actually be cut. And I used offset path just to offset this existing path. Okay, let's take a little more complex example here. I have this F and H and they overlap here, so I haven't gone in and cleaned up this very much. So let's see. I'm going to take these shapes. I'm going to Pathfinder. I'm going to merge those into one shape. It's a little cleaner artwork now. Now how do I get this custom shape around the outside? Well, again, I could take the pen tool and I could very carefully draw around this, but it's going to be really hard to get a perfect shape here. So I'm not going to take that approach. I'm going to select this shape, Object, Path, Offset Path. I like to work in Outline mode, so I'm going to cancel that when I do this. I think it's a little easier to see. And then figure out the amount that I want to use. OK, so let's say that I'm happy with that. Hit OK. I'm going to go back preview mode, and I'm going to turn this a different color just so I can see it as I'm working on it here. Okay, so here's what I have. Now I want it to cut along this outside edge, but I don't want this interior cut here and here. So I'm going to go in and delete that and that. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm a little concerned about the tightness of this area. So I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to grab my scissors tool, and I'm going to cut this path here and over here, and I'm going to delete this section of the path, and I'm going to join these. Okay, now I didn't get that quite straight, so I'm going to back up here again before I cut, and I'm going to draw a guide to help me make this cut. Here we go. So I'm going to cut here and here, delete this part, turn off my guides, take this and this, and join them. Okay? And I'm a little happier with that. Now, this is just my die cut line, so I'm just going to reverse that. I'm going to go ahead and turn this black. And now, whoever's doing the work here will know exactly how this is supposed to be cut out. And I chose to simplify my die cut a little by getting rid of these interior shapes. And I decided to simplify the cut just a little more down here. Okay, let's take a look at this last example here. Now, this is made up of many different parts. I could go in and simplify this and merge some things. But really what I have here is a circle and a rectangle that has a bit of an angle to it. So I think what I'm going to do in this case 
is just draw a circle. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. Okay. And I'm going to select both those top points and use my scale tool to bring that in. Now I'm going to center all of this. Let's see. Good. That's grouped. I'm going to select each of these. I'm going to center them on each other. That's lined up really well. I'll try to make sure that this distance is the same. I think this is a little bit wide for me. Okay, so I'm going to merge these two using Pathfinder. And now I have my custom die cut shape. So sometimes I use offset path, and then I have to simplify that. Sometimes I just use simple shapes and merge them together to get my die cut path. So there's a few examples of how to specify and create where you want the die cut to be on your sticker design. Another Adobe Illustrator quick tip by Fatfly Designs.